Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a spinner. So basically in simple one, it's like a drop down list. This is our fifth video from the series of Android Kotlin basics to advance. So make sure that you save the playlist. Now back to the video. So in spinners, the user will have different options to choose from. For like example, there is a form and in that form it asks for the country. So the spinner will have a list of countries through which user will choose from. You got my point, right? Again, spinners have different types, simple spinner, custom spinner or exposed drop down. But in this video, we will cover a simple spinner. With that said, let's create the project. Choose empty views activity and click on next. Name the activity as spinner. Then click on finish. Let's first do the prerequisites. So go to colors.xml. Press Ctrl plus T to duplicate the line. Name the color as blue. And hex code as 1A9DF1. Now let's go to themes.xml. This is all optional. If you want, you can directly skip to activity main.xml as well. So inside the themes, add the three parameters, color primary, color primary variant and status bar color. So let me quickly do that. And it's done. Now I will add a background in the drawable. I created this background in Canva just to make the app look more happening and also to give you an example where exactly we can use spinners. Got it? We are done with the prerequisite. Now let's move on to activity main.xml. So instead of constraint layout, I'll be using relative layout. Then I'll give the padding for start as 34 dp and for end as 34 dp. Then I will add the background again. As I said, it is just for the show purpose. Next, of course, a spinner. I'll give it an idea spinner. Then margin vertical is 590 dp. And that's it. Now go to main activity. Let me quickly tell you what we are going to do here. So the code might look similar like the list view code, okay? If you haven't watched the video, click on the i button to watch. So first we will create a list of all the items that will be present in the spinner. Then we will create an array adapter. Then we will set on item selected listener. And then lastly add a toast. Got it? First declare the spinner and initialize it. So let me quickly do that. And it's done. Now let's divide it in three steps to understand it clearly. Step number one to create a list. So when list item equals to list of. In our previous video, we have already used array of and array list of, right? This time we will go for list of. List of is basically immutable, which means fixed size. But we do have something called as mutable list in Kotlin. That is basically the opposite of it, which means dynamic size. So let me quickly add all the items in the list and done. 
Now let's move to our step number two, that is creating an adapter. Let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you. So first we created an array adapter which has three parameters. First is the context that means our current activity that is main activity and how do we represent our current activity by using this. Then we have layout. As I previously said it's a simple spinner but if it will have been a custom spinner then we will have created a separate layout for it. But for now we'll be using the default spinner layout provided by the IDE that is simple spinner item. Then the last parameter is list items which we just created so I have mentioned that okay. Next we will set drop down view resource on the adapter and again give it predefined layout as simple spinner drop down item. So what is the difference between both of them? So simple spinner item is basically the layout of items present inside the spinner and simple spinner drop down item is the layout of drop down itself. See to understand more about the predefined files you can keep the cursor on that file and press ctrl plus enter it will lead you to that particular file. You can read it explore it but do not modify it ok. Now let's come back to our code. Once the adapter is created then set the array adapter on the spinner using adapter. Now our last method that is step number 3. So let me quickly write the code and then I'll explain you. And it's done. So the on item selected listener is an interface that defines two callback methods to be invoked when an item in the spinner is selected or when no item is selected. We will be implementing this interface using an anonymous object got it. Then in on item selected method we have four parameters. Parent, view, position and id. I have renamed it. Parent is basically the adapter view, in our case it is the spinner, then view is selected item view, then position obviously the position of the selected item and then id is the row id of the selected item. Got it? Now why we need to know this? Because we will be giving a toast of the selected item and to do that we will require the parent that is spinner and obviously the selected item position. Correct? So parent dot 
get item at position that is the method we'll be using to retrieve the position of the selected item and then we will convert it to string using to string method then selected item is then displayed in a toast message using toast.make text this at the rate main activity refers to the context of the main activity and text as you have selected whatever the selected item is will be using the dollar sign and then the duration of it got it lastly we will call on nothing selected method when no item is selected and in that case we are not supposed to do anything hence i will leave it as blank and that's it now let's run the app it looks great let me click on the spinner and it provides me with four ice cream flavors to choose from perfect i'll choose maybe a mango and see there is a toast as you have selected mango flavor great so yeah that is it for the video if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video